is KMTV Action 3 News, up front at 4. Finding humor to heal the pains of addiction. Lindsay sat down with two comics and recovering addicts who have taken their show on the road and are returning to Omaha tonight. Well, on pretty much any given night here at the Funny Bone at Village Point, you can catch a comedian taking the stage. But for the next two evenings, there is an act that is not just about making things funny, but about starting a conversation about addiction. Our favorite crowd in the whole world is a recovery audience. Um, well, rigid thinkers with uh, flimsy boundaries. It's my favorite people. The heavy topic of addiction is something that doesn't scare comics. Mark Ludholm. You found him in rehab. And Curtis Matthews. As a matter of fact, their entire show is about it. If you're in rehab and somebody with Oxy comes in, you can always tell. Them. Hey, what are you recovering from? Oxy. <laughs> After decades in stand up, and decades in their own recovery, the two began touring clubs and bringing the Addicts Comedy Tour. Addiction being a big part of your show, uh, why was that so important to start incorporating that into the act? I, I, honestly, for me, it's a level of insanity. There's things we can talk about that people that are addicts or, or our family members of people that are addicts or curious about it can relate to. We kind of laugh at some stuff that we'd rather not talk about, but it comes up. And when it comes up, it's discussed. And then there's no power in it. The latest numbers out from the National Substance Abuse Index show about 9,000 admissions for drugs and alcohol treatment in our state. But they're a little out of date. Most recent means it's from 2006. That doesn't matter to these two, though. Uh, addicted to f f Facebook. They say the goal of their show is to let humor heal and to start people talking. The discussion <laughs> leads to at least, at least a little bit of awareness. It's not a closeted thing anymore. This, this tour started three years ago. Yeah, it did. How have addictions changed? The landscape of <laughs> uh, addiction Recently, uh, you never used to hear opioid use uh, talked about in Congress. Uh, in the last three years, specifically to answer your question, it's accelerated. It's pandemic. And it, it doesn't care about zip code. It doesn't care about skin tone, uh, uh, level of income, level of IQ, level of education. It doesn't care. Humor is some truth. And while addiction doesn't care who it takes, these two do. All while they have fun, shining light on a serious issue. He's always optimistic, and I love that. And I'm I was always like, say, really? You are like half full, half no, exactly. full. That's, really. that's why we work together yeah. well together, because I'm like, you're just watching two. I told an audience, I said, the only difference between me and Mark is I know my career's over. You know what I mean? That's, and that's like, one of my favorite jokes. Right. Well, if you want to grab tickets for the shows the next two nights, we have a link with all that information online with this story. That's at KMTV.com. We're at Village Point today. I'm Lindsay Thies for Upfront at 4. Those two men say they stay after the show to talk to anyone who wants to chat about addiction, recovery, or just wants to say hi. Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin is here now, and I don't think any of the snow is going to last.